my name is Marie Curie and you are a very, 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 very interesting substance. So, I am going to measure the electric charge that is coming out of you. Do not fear me. I will use this instrument, uh, which is called an electrometer, and it is a very sensitive device. Well, thanks to this electrometer, which was developed by my husband Pierre and his brother Jacques, I have discovered that uranium rays cause the air around the sample to conduct electricity. Now, let me look at you. Hmm. You are fascinating. Everything must be noted, written down for my research. Mm -hmm. So, yes, what I was saying is that basically when uranium rays pass through the air, this electrometer senses a difference. So I was able to make exact measurements of the tiny, 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 tiny electrical charges which were caused by uranium when it passed through the air. Mm. Now, let me touch you. Mm, you are quite warm. This is most unusual. <laughs> Excuse me, my health is has been quite poor these days. Now, oh, well. actually, the activity of the uranium compounds only depends on the quantity of uranium present. This means that um, the more uranium atoms in a substance, the more intense the rays the substance gives off. Well, this was my first discovery, or rather, hypothesis. I mean, that radiation was not the outcome of molecule interactions, but rather from the atom itself. And this was such a discovery at the time, to think that people used to believe that atoms were indivisible. <clears throat> that is simply crazy. Anyway, now let me take a bit of you there hmm quite interesting hmm. now yes This rooster is a psychopath. How can I do research in these conditions? So yeah, I was trying to find out what was so particular about uranium. So I tested minerals, such as yourself, that contained other elements. So. Most of my studies included two minerals, which were pitchblende and torbonite. Anyway, my electrometer showed incredible results. Apparently, pitchblende was four times as active as uranium. Yes, and in the case of torbonite, it was twice as active. Torbonite has such a nice green color. Well, it's actually a bit yellow, but yes, 
Anyway, I concluded quite logically that pitch blend and tolvanite must have contained small quantities of something else which was more active than uranium itself. Now, I need to do some more tests. Let me take another bit. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I need. I need to take another bit of you. You are simply marvelous. Maybe I shouldn't touch you, maybe you're dangerous. To anything in the name of research. Yes, that is. I'm gonna weigh you. Okay, I'm going to be out of ink. Mm. Anyway, and thus began quite a long period of testing and searching for substances that emitted radiation. And finally, I discovered that thorium was radioactive as well. My husband was so surprised at the time. I think it was in 1898. I think so. He dropped his own research to join mine. Yes. This rooster. I'm going to kill that rooster and eat it for my supper. What kind of rooster sings all day long? Anyway, you probably know I discovered two elements. I named the first one polonium. Polonium, polonium, polonium. What a beautiful name, polonium. In honor of my birth country, Poland, of course. Polonium. And the second one, radium, 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 radium and polonium. <laughs> I'm quite proud, actually. And of course, my husband and I coined the word radioactivity. Polonium was relatively easy to discover, to be honest with you, and that is because it was very similar to that other element called bismuth. Radium, on the other hand, well, that was another story. It was very similar to another element called barium. And it was very difficult to isolate because pitch blend contained both barium and radium. So, yeah, to confirm these theories, we decided to isolate both polonium and radium in pure form. You are very interesting indeed. I am in awe of such complexity. Mm. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. The hardest chemical separation to achieve was with pitch blend. Such a complex mineral. Fascinating, really. Anyway, it took us oh, years, 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 years. And in the end, we managed to isolate one-tenth 
of a gram of radium chloride from a ton of pitch burn. An actual ton. Not figuratively a ton. Actual ton. I know, it is completely insane. And well, my deepest regret is that I was never able to isolate polonium. But in my defense, polonium has a half-life of 138 days, so... My apologies, I'm <laughs> quite sick. But anyway, all these discoveries were published in scientific papers by my husband and I, and one of them was claiming that when tumour forming cells were exposed to radium, they were destroyed faster than the healthy cells. Yes, quite a discovery indeed. And in the end, I was awarded a doctorate from the University of Paris. No, I mean, it was the least they could do, considering. <laughs> okay. Anyway, not long later, Pierre and I were invited to the Royal Institution in London because I was supposed to give a speech on radioactivity. And guess what? Because I am a woman, I was not allowed to speak. So it was my husband who spoke for me. But it was, at the time, hardly believable a woman would be capable of doing the research I did. But well, it was another time. Anyway, I am done with my electrometer. I will have to review these data and I will come back to you, my lovely mineral, with the final results. <laughs>